So I want to make a quick statement on the ArenaNet firings. It's a big story right now in the video game industry. And I figured I'd make a quick statement on it because it's a, a very interesting thing to talk about. Because on one hand, you have the Gamergate crowd, the people who, you know, uh, are part of that group. Like Ian Miles Chung and those people, you know who I'm talking about, who are pretty much celebrating this firing. Yeah, they were bigots. They deserve to be fired. Like, that's what Ian said on Twitter. Meanwhile, those people defend when someone gets fired for saying the N-word or gets in trouble for saying the N-word, like PewDiePie or someone other than him in the gaming industry that's in trouble for racist language. They defend those people, but those people who were fired, you know, and they weren't even... They were saying stuff that was awful, don't get me wrong. They were saying stuff that was definitely not professional. But it really starts this conversation. If people should be fired for expressing viewpoints outside of the workplace. Because on the other side of the Gamer Great crowd, you have the people defending these people, saying they shouldn't have been fired. They should not have been fired because... They're unrealistically being expected to perform PR for their company 24-7, even when they're not being compensated for it. And that's a point that I very much sympathize with. But on the other hand, if someone says something offensive, something they find sexist, racist, misogynistic, etc., then they celebrate when that person's fired. So from both sides, I don't really uh, have a, I don't really take either side seriously, the Gamergate crowd, I don't really take them seriously, and I also don't take the, uh, I guess you could say, the, the PC crowd, I don't take them seriously either, and when I say PC, I don't mean PC gaming, of course, I'm talking about the politically correct, uh, easily offended SJWs. So on both sides, I really don't have any, uh, I don't really agree with either side because they're both hypocrites. But from my own opinion, I think she shouldn't have been fired. And the guy that was defending her on Twitter also shouldn't have been fired. Because look, what you do outside the workplace, I don't think should affect you. I really don't. I think, I agree that it's completely unrealistic to expect someone to, to pretty much do PR and to make sure that they're not making the company look bad 24-7, and it pretty much affects their personal lives 24-7. I think what you do in the workplace should be affected by that. The eight or so hours you spend every day there, <laughs> that's all sh that should matter, in, in theory. And understand their businesses, and they have motivations for doing this. It makes them look bad as a company for having these people in their company. But I think a great solution to this would just to be to pass a constitutional amendment that prevents workplace discrimination or prevents firing against people for expressing their political viewpoints outside of the workplace. I think this is a big issue facing this country. And I think, uh, I think that it needs to be solved. No matter what your political views are. You should not be persecuted for expressing your political beliefs, or it's not even politics, anything. Saying anything that might be offensive or might make your company look bad, you can get fired. And that's pretty scary that that can happen in this country. Because, yeah, you know, we're all about, our country's all about free expression, but meanwhile, so many people are afraid of speaking their mind because they're going to lose their livelihoods. So, yeah, I definitely disagree with the firings. I disagree with political firings in general. Uh, as long as they're not doing something in the work, you know, while they're on the shift. Anything outside of that, I don't believe in firing anybody under any circumstances for doing anything outside of their job unless it's uh, committing a felony or something like that, which uh, is a completely different scenario. But as far as people expressing their viewpoints, I'm always going to disavow the firings of people who are just expressing how they feel. And whether you agree with them or not, and I personally don't agree with what she said. But on the other hand, I don't think that she should have been fired. I don't. So that's why I think both sides are kind of hypocritical. They celebrate when people they disagree with are fired, and they hate it when people they agree with 
are fired. But there's no, there's no objectivity. There's no, um, they're, they're, they're just, they're just biased, you know? So I don't agree with any of those people. So that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of the arena net firings. And yeah, that's about it.